This video was made possible by Good Better Best Tuition Services. Today we are going to be looking at Grade 3 Doubling and Halving. I would like to send a special shout out to Jordan Falkvain. This lesson is especially for you. So let's say I asked you to find the double of 23 for me. We would split that up into 20 plus 3. And we know what the double of 20 is. The double of 20 is 40. Let's write that down. And what is the double of 3? The double of 3 is 6. So that would give me 40 plus 6. And what is 40 plus 6? It is 46. So the double of 23 is 46. Let's do another one. Let's look at the number 47. Can you split that into tens and units for me, just like we did here, where we did 20 and 23? Can you split that for me? What do you get? You should get 40 plus 7. And now let's double that. What is the double of 40? Do you know? The double of 40 is 80 and the double of 7 is 14 and 80 plus 14 is 94. Now I'd like for you to do one by, you, by yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the next sum. Then I'd like for you to pause the video and work it out on your own. So let's look at the method that we've used. Step 1, we split the sum into tens and units. Step 2 was we doubled the tens and the units. And then step 3 was we add, added them together. So can you follow that method for me in doing the third sum? So in step 1, we split into tens and units. So that will be 80 plus 6. What is step 2? We need to double them. So let's do that. And that will give us 160 plus 12. Did you get that? Good job. If you didn't, We'll get it next time. And once we've doubled it, 160 plus 12 is equal to 172. Do you think we should do some more difficult examples? Let's try. Let's look at the number 175. Now in the previous sum we had tens and units, but you can see here we have hundreds, tens and units. So we now need to follow step 1 but we need to split this into hundreds, tens and units. That will give me a hundred plus seventy plus five. What's step two? Step two says that we need to double it now. And when we double a hundred we get two hundred. When we double seventy we get a hundred and forty. And when we double five we get ten. And when we add them all together as step three tells us to do we get 350. Let's look at our last sum, 423. How would we go about doubling that? We need to stick to our steps. Step 1 is we need to split into our hundreds, tens and units. So can you do that for me quickly? Pause the video and split 423 into hundreds, tens and units. And you should have gotten 400 plus 20 plus 3. Now let's double that. Pause the video and let's see what you get. That should have given you 800 plus 40 plus 6, which will give us 846. Now let's look at halving. Let's start off with the number 64. What's our first step? Our first step is that we need to split it into tens and units. Let's do that. So that will give us 60 plus 4. What do we need to do, no do now? We need to halve the tens and units. That will give us 30 plus 2. And 30 plus 2 is 32. So the half of 64 is 32. Let's look at the number 86. What is our first step? 
our first step is that we need to split this into tens and units. So can you split that for me? Pause the video and let's see. So that splits into 80 plus 6. We've done the first step. Now, can you halve that for me? What is the half of 80 and what is the half of 6? The half of 80 is 40 and the half of 6 is 3. And 40 plus 3 will give us 43. Now the method for hal halving uneven numbers is slightly different to halving even numbers. So the first thing is we need to split the number into tens and units. So let's do that with the number 23. So this is step 1. We split the number up into 20 plus 3. Let's look at step 2. Step 2 says that we need to split the units up again into an even number plus 1. What does that mean? It means we need to take the 3 and split it up into an even number plus 1. What plus 1 gives you 3? 2 plus 1 gives you 3. So let's do that. So we say 20 plus 2 plus 1. And what do we do now? We halve the tens and we halve the units. The half of 20 is 10, the half of 2 is 1, and the half of 1 is a half. So what's your answer? 10 plus 1 is 11, and 11 plus a half is 11 and a half. Let's look at halving the number 27. I'd like for you to pause the video and see if you can do it on your own. Please don't forget to follow your steps. So in step 1 we had to split it. So 27 was equal to 20 plus 7. And then step 2 says that we need to split, split the units up again into an even number plus 1. So we split 7 up into 6 plus 1. What do we need to do now? We need to halve each one. That gives us 10 plus 3 plus a half, which will be equal to 13 and a half. But what happens when the tens number is also uneven? Let's have a look. Let's look at the number 77. Does it affect our method much? The previous method that we used said that we first need to split it. And then once we split, we need to split the units again into an uneven into an even number plus 1. So let's do that. So step 1 says that we need to split it into 70 plus 7 and step 2 says that we need to take our 7 and split it into an even number plus 1 which we've done. We need to halve each number. The half of 70 is 35, the half of 6 is 3 and the half of 1 is a half, and that will give us 38 and a half. Let's look at the number 567. We need to half this. So let's set up our method again quickly so that we can follow our steps which will assist us. So there's our method. We are going to split into hundreds, tens and units. Step 2 is we're going to split the units into an even number plus 1, then we are going to halve each number and add our answers together. Let's see if we can do that. So that will give us 500 plus 60 plus 7. And when we split the 7, we will split the 7 into 6 plus 1. What do we need to do now? We need to halve each one. So let's do that. The half of 500 is 250. The half of 60 is 30. The half of 6 is 3 and the half of 1 is a half. And so we add that all together and what do we get? That will give you 283 and a half. Shall we do one more? Let's go for it. Let's look at the number 469. Step 1, we need to split into hundreds, tens and units. Now we need to split the units into an even number plus 1, which will be 8 plus 1. And when we halve it, we have 200 plus 30 plus 4 plus a half. 
and that will give us 234 and a half. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you again soon. Keep well.